Hey everybody, good morning. Um, we are on our fourth day together uh, as we start our new year here at Bruce Randolph uh, and you guys begin your high school careers in ninth grade. So what we're gonna do today, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, we're gonna do where I'm from poems. Uh, I'm gonna share mine. I believe Mr. Lamison and Mr. Eglin will also share theirs. Um, really just providing space for us to get to know each other, um, to share who we are, um, and then uh, create our own Where I'm From poems and see um, about building classroom community and culture in class today. So we're gonna start off with a, a poem by Tupac. Um, if you are unfamiliar with Tupac, I feel bad for you. Um, even if you do not like rap, um, his poetry, his words, his use of language um, is phenomenal, okay? Regardless of how you feel about like Biggie, Tupac, East Coast rap, West Coast rap, all that sort of stuff. Um, language is powerful and he knew how to use it. Okay. So let's read this poem together uh, and then answer some questions based on it. All right. So <clears throat> let's look at the directions. Uh, please follow this link. You already did that. Thoughtfully and carefully read this poem. I'm going to read it with you. Uh, and then answers number answer numbers one and two, be thoughtful and considerate in your answers. Did you hear about the rose that grew from the crack in the concrete? Proving nature's laws wrong, it learned to walk without having feet. Funny, it seems that by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from concrete when no one else even cared. Tupac Shakur, the rose that grew from concrete. So for question number one, who or what could the rose symbolize? Take a moment right now, think about it, and write down your answer. You might need to go back into the poem. Maybe you need to reread it. Who or what could the rose symbolize? It's question number one. Take a moment. Number two, don't feel rushed. How did the rose grow from concrete? Again, how did the rose grow from the concrete? We're using this short poem and we're answering these two questions. Yes, there is a right or wrong, more or less, but really this activity is designed for us to engage with a piece of poetry, a piece of literature, and practice forming opinions and making claims about that piece of literature, okay? It's okay to take a guess, trust your gut, right? Trust your heart. If it says that you believe the rose could symbolize, tell me, don't be fearful of being wrong. Failure and being wrong is how we grow and how we learn, okay? Don't ever be afraid of making a mistake because we all do it. It's how we grow, it's how we learn. It's uncomfortable, we don't like it, but it's how we grow, okay? So one more time, I'm gonna read the poem and I'm making sure that we're answering numbers one and two thoughtfully, carefully, and honestly. Did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete? Proving nature's laws wrong, it learned to walk without having feet. Funny, it seems that by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from concrete when no one else even cared. Tupac. Once again, who or what could the rose symbolize? How did the rose grow from concrete? I'm going to give everyone about 30 seconds. It's going to be kind of awkward because it's going to be silent wait time, but I'm giving you about 30 seconds to finish up your thinking and answering these two questions. All right, I think I'm gonna edit that in the video or in the editor, okay? We're gonna give a little bit of time. All right, so go ahead and pause. Oh, we can do that. Just pause the video. Um, nope, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna cut all of this out um, and just create a blank space, okay? Um, now, upcoming deadlines. There's a few things coming up um, that I just wanna make sure that we are aware of. Uh, it has not been said clearly or explicitly, so I wanna make sure that it is. Your packet that we did for names, nombres, 
is due by Friday. Many of you have already submitted it. We're working on feedback. We're getting you that feedback um, so that you know how you did and how things are looking. We are also going to go over it as we begin our, our unit in full on Monday. Okay, so make sure this week you're getting in some of these assignments that we have listed here. Make sure the biggest thing for this week is getting used to and comfortable with operating within this online school framework, right? So that means sending emails, coming to office hours, coming into class, uh, and completing work, all right? Um, let's ground ourselves now in our content learning objective. So I did make one change because we don't have that much time, uh, and I wanna make sure that we use our time wisely, okay? So uh, I'm no longer going to ask that you copy down the CLO. The CLO will already be in your packet, the difference now is that all you have to focus on is answering the clarifying questions or making annotations uh, to dive in deep to the CLO, okay? So for today, our CLO is we will, students will be able to create a where I am from poem in order to build and cultivate a strong classroom community and culture. What I'm curious about and I want you to focus on, tell me based on this question, why are we building and creating where I'm from poems? Okay, tell me why. And then secondly, define for me, what is classroom community? What do I mean when I say that? And, and or what is classroom culture? What do I mean when I say that? Are they the same? Are they different? Take a minute. I'm gonna put a blank space in this video so that we have about a minute's worth of time. Think through this question, finish your questions above if you still need to do that. Um, but take a second, consider the CLO and answer these two questions for me. Okay, blank space in the video, coming back. All right, folks, so real quick, we're gonna hit these next two boxes. Um, criteria for success for today. You'll know you've been successful if your whole packet is finished, completed, annotated, and uh, filled out. Annotate the poem, right? And then create your own, all right? So your packet can be submitted and turned in when you have a completed where I am from poem um, done, okay? We do not have an essential question today that I'm gonna ask you to copy down, that I'm gonna ask you to um, really investigate. Um, because we're doing the where I'm from poems, uh, we're not gonna answer a, an essential question today. However, I do want you to consider the framing around these poems. How can we use our voice, our story, to make an impact on the world around us? Okay, that's the thinking. That's our, our motto, so to speak, right? How can we learn to use our voice to learn to use language, to read and write in ways that allow us to use our voice to impact our communities, our families, our school, um, the world around us, okay? I want you to consider that for a moment. Um, and as you do your work today, as you finish your poem today, be thinking, how can I use my voice, my story, my life, my identity to make an impact in my community, in my family, um, and in the world, okay? We're gonna jump into our poems. Go ahead and finish and make sure that you have answered all that we have asked in these first few boxes in this video. Um, once again, let me just say clearly with, with Mr. Eglin and Mr. Lamison as well, like we are so excited for this year. Um, we're so proud of, of all of your determination so far. Um, we're getting really high numbers in folks um, coming to class and doing the work and that's so exciting um, because I know that online learning can be difficult. Um, but we're excited and I can't wait to see all the stuff we do this year. So let's get back to class. Um, thank you all. Uh, see you in a second. Bye.